I moved away from Hansworth because I was living at, after I've left Linwood Road, I came to Westminster Road. And I lived there with this wonderful Christian lady, Sister Johnson, which is Mark's godmother. Because I left there with Mark as a, no, I have Mark there. I had Mark come right there as a baby because I left Linwood Road for obvious reason and came to Westminster Road with Sister Johnson. And when I, Mark was born, he came back from hospital right to Westminster Road. So that was, what, can you remember what year that was? 62. 62. Mm -hmm. So in 62, um, you obviously started to, to develop a community of, there were all Christians around that time. And yeah. Westminster Road, based upon, in, from a Church of God of Prophecy's history, yeah. was a place that had conventions. And I remember West, when, yeah. when I was younger, well, yes. my mum saying to me that um, she, because I'm quite interested, how did you get, because you didn't know my mum. No, 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 I didn't know your mum. You from the same parish? Yeah. Was Clarendon. yeah. I know. Okay. But you knew T.A. McCullough from, from home. Okay. So sometimes when a lot of a lot of the people came here, you already had friends that you were coming to. That's right. But not all of them not all of them came to people they had to kind of come no. and set up. So how then did you because I'm because from Hansworth to, to South po Birmingham, mm -hmm. right? Which I know there was Brother Gregory was Erdington. Yes. And then you had Sister Hall and Brother Hall and Sister Easy, yes. Those people, Brother McIntyre, but they was more New Testament. Mm -hmm. How did you get that relationship with my mum? How did that come in? Because you mentioned Westminster Road. Yes. How did you all meet up? I I usually go to Westminster Road, and I get in talk with your mother. At the, the convention was there under Brother Pruitt. And I never get to, so much use to her there, but we had this, we had a, what you call, um, week of meeting, and then we always go there. But I never really get interacted so much with your mom. It was after we left out and my husband came to Spark Hill. And that's where, no, no, not Spark Hill, um, no, at two. Foreman's Road. <laughs> <laughs> we came to Foreman's Road, and so your mom and us all was at Lady Pool Road. And your mom did love how your godfather mother operated because he was very powerful, you know, your goddy. And so there was some sort of a uh, things were sort of not doing so well. I don't know if I should go there. No, we can edit it. Right? Okay. Um, the, the people at, at um, Lady Pool, after Elder Gregory made my husband to be the leader for the people. I know, they were not living at the airport. Yeah, um, made him lead there. So Elder Gregory was where? Elder Gregory was at Lady Pool. Lady Pool Road. That is um, Ken's daddy. Yeah. He was at Lady Pool, massive church that was. And so Helder Gregory appointed my husband as a leader for the people while he was the pastor. So just to, again, this is quite interesting because now the, the movement had moved from Hansworth. Yeah, to it was coming over, over. To the south side of That's Birmingham, right, yeah. Which is quite important because I think your generation created <laughs> that movement in that area which mm. was more i would say more was the methodist churches was more so that side so mm -hmm. the pentecostal evangelical church movement mm -hmm. started with your yeah direction over yeah. that side of birmingham that's right yeah, yeah. To say. Mm -hmm. so we came over from hansworth to lady pool yeah. road and obviously that's elder gregory was the one that um does the surveying around to get in people and yeah. revivals and people comes in until the church was a big church. Okay. And that's where I met your mom okay. at Lady 
Liverpool Road. So, mum, okay, you started to meet mum and then um, children, so all the parents there started to have children, so the church was quite big. Yeah, it was a massive church. It was a big church. I could name the, I can hardly name some of them now, like the Baileys and yeah. the Spencers, yeah. all these yeah. people, yeah. the Hall yeah. and, and, and the, the English. He was our driver there and things like that. So the church became massive. So then you had, over that side, you had George Street as well, didn't you? George Street where Brother Williams. Yes. Yeah. That was that side as well. Wasn't that it? was yeah. that Lady was over the other side. Lady Pool in, in Spark Hill, Spark Brook. Yeah. And Brother Gry Brother Williams was over in Basileith. Basileith. Right. You should remember that man. Yeah, yeah. I tried I tried quote you. You know what is don't test me. Really. But yeah. the, his the history is see if we don't put this history down, yeah. it will be forgotten. It's gone out of context, you know, yeah. And, and you know, I know we can edit this part, but Brother Williams, he's gone, he's not here. Nobody's written. Oh, they're all gone. Brother Gregory's gone. He's gone. And he did a good work, Hella yeah, Gregory he, did. He's done a massive work. And unless we document this, I mean, I didn't know that T A invited Gaudi to come here. I didn't know. No, that. no, no. You know, and if you, magic. if you had read my, yeah, no, yeah, the eulogy, you find where I place yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But unless you was at the funeral, you'd never know that. And unless we have this conversation, that's right. We'd never know. That's right. You know, so, um, so all that was mentioned there because he was the first person that people thought we never knew. I knew him from home, from home yeah. which a lot of people didn't know. No, we didn't know that. Didn't no, know didn't know. That. No. So that's why I placed that in Facebook yeah, yeah. as my tribute at his funeral. Yeah. 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 So, so that's when we got over to um, Lady Pool Road, mm -hmm. uh, again, my fondest memories of Gaudi was, was playing. And I think he was playing, my last, the last time I heard him play mm -hmm. was when I was about 17, 17, 18. And he was, pa he was pastoring Mount Pleasant. And I came to a service, it was a, it was a revival yeah. or a meeting mm -hmm. that I had to come to because mom says, you know, if we was having a revival, you have to go. I had no choice. So if mom put up a hand that meant I was going. Yeah, right? there, so, yeah. And we came down and then I remember fast forwarding that uh, churches were split into areas. Yes. So we became area seven. Hey, that's right. So area was Spark Hill, Acot Street. Yeah, yeah, Shire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Acot, um, George Street, yes. so all of those streets. So if you'd had like little revivals. All those. And I remember coming and it was in Highgate School. And it was a classroom. Yes. We oh. came in. Upstairs. Upstairs. We came in and I could not, at the age of six, 17, I must have been. So I left school, or still at school. Mm. And I, I could not comprehend the way and how full a banjo was in that, and there was no other instrument. Jo that was the only. The tambourines and the banjo, and I could not get in my <laughs> head how that instrument allowed that the room to feel so, it felt like there was a band yeah. was in there, and it was just Goddy playing the banjo yes. on his own, accompanied by tambourines, and um, that really inspired me yeah. so much that I, I I don't. I can't realize at the time how much it did inspire my musical journey, because um, yeah. my late brother Trevor, as you know, I know, spoke fondly of of Gaudi mm -hmm. and how he taught him how to use certain chords yes. in uh, playing along to choruses and mm -hmm. church songs, mm -hmm. and um, to be disciplined in how yeah. you play, yeah. that the music is just as important as the songs. Yeah, you're not to and, go over the song. Yeah. And how I think he was probably one of the first music ministers. I so believe, yeah. You know, that, you know, that we may give a title to today. Yeah, yeah. But um, he really appreciated the importance of music and worship. You know, without one, they, they all yeah. play an important part uh -huh. in worshiping God. And, uh, for me, I, I, to this day, I, I'll always be indebted to my godfather because yeah. of how he um, aroused that awareness of music mm -hmm. and the importance of music within worship. But again, playing the, the banjo. Yeah, well, with the banjo, 
You never asked me how we get to play it. He, nobody taught him. He's never been taught by no one. He teaches himself. Like you would have notes and things yeah, yeah. to go by, no way. That was an inspiration from God to him mm -hmm. that he could master the string without anybody said A, B, C or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, it was so instrumental for him to do it on his own. And, and he, he graduated from a little ukulele on his own until you see the one he had, that American one. Yeah. He mastered it until he died yeah. without anybody come to say this string, that or the other. He, he, nobody taught him, he, t he taught himself. Yeah. And he did well on it. He did, he did. He did very well. Yeah. And come back to Mount Pleasant, as you were saying, it was not you alone who impressed him at that time. We were at church one Sunday, and it was the high police, whatever they call him, the high one though, was passing by, heard that music, and he came right up into Mount Pleasant Church. And he was a bit frightened, Dad was, <laughs> seeing a police came in the uniform. And he stood by the door and we stopped. He stopped and he came in and he stood up and said, you are impressing me with this music. And he was saying, I wish you could get some more young people off the street to be participant in what I've heard. And Mount Pleasant wasn't a big congregation, but the Holy Spirit in that church let everything extended so far that even a police officer could come in and say, you are doing a good work. And if you continue this and the younger generation comes in, that would be something to get them off the street. So it didn't impress you alone, but it impresses even the higher authority, the way he played his music. He did it with all his heart. And it impresses a lot of people, you know, so. So, yeah. so what were your <laughs> songs of choice? Well, too much to tell. A few, a few songs that really, okay, to address what we're going through now. Songs is, is and a, even artists. Yeah. Interesting what artists you yeah. get the gram, is the gram, gramophone. Yeah, did you have a gramophone? Did you play a gramophone? No, no. Oh, okay, so you wasn't, okay, cool. That's no, you, no. Do you used to listen to anybody? I, I listened to gramophone. My father home had it. Uh, and I listened, Brother Taylor have it? Uh, Johnny Taylor. He, he had a flutine. Is it? No, no. Gramophone. No. I, I've no. never listened to any here. No. My okay. father did have one okay. at home that he plays. What, what was one of your uh, favorite songs? In those days, I am under the rock. The rock is higher than yeah. high. Yeah. Jehovah hide me. Yeah. I'm under the rock. Go tell my enemy. I'm under the rock. Jehovah hides me. I'm under the rock. What a wonderful thing to be free from sin and of yeah. Christ within, yeah. to be made a joint okay. here with Jesus, my Lord. What a wonderful, wonderful thing. Okay. What was one of, what was God's, one of his favorite songs? God, God, his favorite song. Come unto me. Oh. Hear the blessed okay. Savior calling the oppressed. Oh, ye heavy laden, come to me and rest. When he plays that on that string, yeah, yeah, yeah. my God, he loves that. And um, also, um, you mentioned a couple of um, music, other musicians. What, what other musicians were playing around about that time in England in the sixties? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you know when um, okay, that's quite interesting because yeah. you mentioned um, brother. This is even Mother Gregory playing the tambourine in his rest, Sister, you know, Sister yeah. Gregory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mother Gregory. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. 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 well, you mentioned. Uh, oh, because I knew about, I never met him, but he emigrated to America. Thompson. And died. Thompson. Thompson, he died now. Thompson. Brother Thompson. Sax, yeah. He played the, the saxophone. The saxophone. Mm -hmm. And um, if I remember correctly, did it Brother Williams play trombone? Brother Williams? Yeah. I can't remember if he had, Oswald. Ozzy's dad. Oswald yeah. plays guitar. Yeah, so he had Ozzy, bad boy. Yeah. Don't register that. <laughs> no, no, no. Not bad boys in like no, okay. nice. No, 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 no. No, that's not. I don't really like. No, no, no. no. We don't really like that. He might play good, good, oh, good, he was a yeah. good guitarist. Who else was there uh, around that time? Um, guitar music. 
from the 60s. Guitar. Yeah, musicians from the 60s. Oh, musicians. Yeah. Yeah, well, the drummers were there, which right. is music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who? Les Burn was one. Yes. You know, you know, yeah, you're yeah. just pulling me. It's good to come from you. Know, music. Music. So, so in the sixties, when you're doing the revival meetings, who were the musicians that you would see playing? Who would who were playing in the band alongside with your husband? Yeah, it would be Hoswell. Hoswell, yeah. He, he always been there, and Thompson as well. Yeah. Was w w would be there, and Trevor came in. Trevor, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you came late. Yeah, well, but you come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, was, there, was Wayne, was there Wayne? Wayne Williams. Yeah. He played the, the guitar, yeah, I think. Bass, 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 bass with w yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. With Glenn. And Glenn, as Glenn as well. And did we also have, from Chapel Street side, there was somebody that played drums? In, in Chapel Street? Yeah, who, who was the, the over, current overseer? In, Didn't Ted Roy play drums? Uh, Ted Roy always, but he was no overseer at that time. No, no, I'm just saying, didn't he play drums like? In oh the yeah, 60s, he all, he all, early seventies. Was he one of the musicians? Get back. <laughs> yeah, Ted yeah. Roy. Yes, Ted because Roy. he spoke about that not long ago. Yeah. Also, uh, again from that era was um, that I remember. Who else? You know who else played? Brother English used to play guitar as well, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. But the, but, he, but the English mostly was playing guitar just in Ladywood in in in, yeah. in um Ladywood Church and Haycox Green. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he he played there, but um, there was not a lot of musicians mm. until Trevor and you and 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 Lesburn and all those came in. Most of those musicians in the sixties they mostly play in conventions. Brighton and all those different places, they go with their music. But it's a sort of a have maybe a little revival. You wouldn't find we is mostly tambourines yeah. along with that um, banjo yeah, yeah, yeah. and things like that. But the, the, the broader aspect of the church is like conventions, all the musicians, them, even Hoswell, it would be most Brighton yeah. and them places. So, quite interesting as well. The songbooks, what were the songbooks? Oh gosh! Out of, there the, was the, the song which was um, "Songs of Glorious Praise." Yeah, of glorious praise yeah. You have the one there in Banner. the Banner hymn, and the one I found for you. What you call it? <laughs> what do you so call? Is it soul stirring. Uh, yeah, this, that was good. Yeah, and it was and a sankey, wasn't it? It was a sankey. We 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 used sankey, but mostly in homes prayer meeting. And redemption songs. And the redemptions. The book, yeah, yeah. The, yes, the redemption. We 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 use all those kind because those were what you call really Pentecostal songs yeah, yeah. not like this today which some of them I can't even bother <laughs> yeah, they, they, I, I can't even sing them <laughs> no cut it out it's true but uh, you will chop it out anyway no we're gonna keep the whole of this section the, 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 yeah you chop out what you need <laughs> but our days we, we move under the leading of the Holy Ghost. You don't find people shaking them, but if not the Holy Spirit, you know what I mean? But today, it's a different story. <laughs> Cut out one of good. That's a sound bite right there. That's a sound bite.